Hi and welcome to a new Volo. In this video I was supposed to upgrade my Creality CR10 3D printer with the Autobe the leveling sensor, but I failed to do that and I will explain why in a few minutes. The upgrade would involve connecting the sensor to the motherboard with the help of a small circuit and then loading the Marlin uh, custom firmware to support the auto bed leveling uh, option as well as add other nice uh, upgrades. It took about a full day of work to prepare everything, write the script, uh, I then started shooting the video, I wired the sensor, uh, the wiring was nice and tidy and then I started playing with the sensor to see how it uh, detects the bed and check that uh, everything uh, works okay in terms of the uh, sensor detecting the bed level. I got the inductive uh, sensor uh, module which is rated for 8 mm sensing distance. Uh, I'm using the stock uh, CR10 heated bed with the uh, stock uh, glass on top of that which is about 4 mm thick. So that should leave me with about uh, 4 mm gap between the uh, sensor head and the glass for adjustment because the sensor needs to be sitting above the glass uh, slightly above the height of the print head to allow the print head to touch the glass before the sensor. However, while testing I noticed that with my sensor I'm only getting about 5 or 6 mm sensing distance in total which means I only get about one and a half, two millimeters between the head of the sensor and the glass bed. So in my case, the sensor sits lower than the print head, touching the glass before of the print head. So that is fail number one for my upgrade. I think I just received a uh, less sensitive sensor because it's not meeting the uh, spec eight millimeter sensing distance. I can't think of anything else because I am powering it from 12 volts which is uh, within the specified uh, input voltage of the sensor so the only thing I could think of is that I got a bad one out of a batch and it's, it's just less sensitive. Nevertheless I continued with the upgrade because I thought I will just get a new sensor and I will get it uh, working later. So I started working on flashing the Marlin custom firmware, which you need to compile first. And uh, the, I'm using the stock CR10 and on the stock CR10 motherboard you get the Atmega 1284 uh, microcontroller, which is uh, 128K of uh, flash memory. And I soon discovered that uh, if I try to compile the Marlin firmware with the SD card option, the uh, graphical LCD option and the auto bed leveling option, I would get a uh, program that exceeds 128K of uh, flash memory which is available. And that is fail number two. Everybody talks about uh, upgrading the CR10 with the auto bed leveling sensor and the Marlin custom firmware, but nobody tells you that uh, if you try to compile the firmware with uh, all the options that you would regularly use on the CR10, it would not fit in the 128K of flash memory available on the stock uh, CR10 motherboard. So in the end, you can't have all of those uh, three options enabled in the uh, Marlin firmware. You would have to lose one of them. And that's a showstopper for me because I like printing like this without being connected to the computer. I like printing from the SD card using the uh, LCD and uh, if I would have to disable one of those features I wouldn't be able to use my printer as before. And if I had that piece of information uh, before I started flashing the uh, custom firmware I think I would not have uh, continued, I would have waited uh, to upgrade my motherboard before trying to flash the Marlin firmware and do the auto bed leveling uh, sensor upgrade. So right now my options are to disable the SD card option and enable the uh, auto bed leveling option and that way I can get the firmware to compile uh, in less than 128k of uh, memory. Or the second option is to buy the upgraded motherboard because the CR10S 
comes with uh, an upgraded motherboard that has the Atmega 2560 microcontroller with uh, 256k of flash memory and that would be enough to uh, allow me to enable all the features I want from the uh, Marlin firmware. So I'm going to try to obtain the uh, newer motherboard from Creality. I think they have a shop on AliExpress so I'm going to send them a message and ask if I can purchase just the CR10S motherboard and see what kind of price they're going to give me. It would have been nice if the two microcontrollers were pin compatible so we could just swap the 1284 for the 2560 but that's not the case uh, there are other differences between the two so they are not pin compatible. I also ordered the three other types of sensors in preparation of uh, uh, a future video in which I'm hopefully going to finish this upgrade so I will link those uh, three types of sensors in the description below so you can order them ahead of time if you plan to do this uh, upgrade. I'm hoping uh, I will get better sensitivity from those sensors and I can extend that sensing distance so the sensor sits above the uh, print head. I will also be placing a link to the schematic I used uh, to connect the sensor to the motherboard. I use the simple optocoupler circuit uh, to do that. Uh, that works fine, I will not be changing that, so if you want to build that small circuit, please check the schematic link in the description. In the end, I'm advising you not to switch to the uh, custom Marlin firmware for the uh, CR10 3D printer, unless you are willing to let go of uh, one of those uh, three functions, either the uh, graphical LCD, the SD card or the auto bed leveling feature. So you will not be able to fit all three of those on the uh, uh, custom CR10 motherboard. I hope you learned something from this uh, video. I certainly did. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you next week.